Shalom. Giving all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachahakurash. And double honors to the apostles, the bishops, and the elders at Great Millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations, as always, to the elect. All right, those of you uh, who are coming back to the obedience, all right, of the Most High through the sacrifice made by Hamashiach, all right, the Messiah, Yahweh Shai, through whom we have received the Holy Spirit, all right, of promise, so that we can offer up our bodies as a living sacrifice through repenting. Calling on the names of Yahweh Bashmi Ashai, washing away the filth that was once dominating our behavior patterns. All right, and ultimately be uh, meet for repentance upon the turn of Yahweh Shai. Because if you look at this world clearly, Yahweh Shai has to come. All right, it's either what we're saying is true or everything is through. So, as you can see in the title, don't forget about yourself. All right. Remember, all right, uh, as Michael Jackson said, look at the man in the mirror. All right. And we have to do these lessons ever so often because, as the scriptures say, sometimes we can get confident in a plain way. All right. The scriptures tell you be not confident in a plain way. We are um, proclaiming to be the rulers and judges of the world to come. All right. So, as, uh, as the scriptures say, if you're desire is thrones and scepters and rulership all right well the first step is honoring wisdom loving wisdom which wisdom is synonymous with the fear of the lord meaning if you fear something all right your 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 uh behavior towards that thing is very careful all right so we have to be mindful all right you know the the lord has given us the duty of a prophet now what comes with being a prophet is uh, rebuking, you know, uh, leadership, you know, rebuking, you know, kings, you know, the prophets would have to literally rebuke kings, you know, the kings of Israel, men who everyone looked to that this is the leader, <laughs> you know, the prophets, all right, weren't, you know, popular in the sense that they had to go and do the dirty work, the dirty job, you know, and it's a beautiful lot, you know, um, and we take it on gladly understanding that we have to um contend for the faith you know but the last thing we want to do all right is get to the point where we we're, we're, we ourselves are examining ourselves and we're full of shit and you get so caught up in, in rebuking and you know cutting you know and doing all of these things but you forget to look at yourself and that's a very dangerous spot to be in as an Israelite, you see, where, you know, it's, it's very easy to point the finger, but, you know, again, we're here to grow. The scriptures say that the, this word is sharper than a two-edged sword, piercing, you know, the, the inward of a man. And we ourselves get cut, okay? And um, you have to remember there's particular impurities that you have to uh, have purged out before you, you know, this is why the Lord takes us through these experiences. The thing is, you can't be overcome because a lot of the experiences we go through are not pleasing. You know, as men of the Lord, you know, it's all a chastening, you know, so, that, you know, what comes with, you know, being accepted back as a son of the most high is obedience. But for a child to be obedience, all right, the ancient way is to chasten him. All right. To, uh, you know, ultimately uh, discipline him, test him. All right. These are things that made, all right, uh, uh, you know, men, men, you know, this is why I can't wait until the ancient way is reestablished in the earth. The, the royal way, the, uh, the, the, you know, the ways of righteousness, man, because it's just more conducive to men being men and women being women. And what, what, what is the earth without those two, <laughs> you know, structures with those two uh you know, ordinances, because that's what they are. A man is an ordinance, a woman is an ordinance. When, when those two things are out of order, you know, the, the earth is eventually going to find itself in disparity, man. But anyway, um, I lost track. But, you know, overall, as the scripture says, Second Corinthians, the 13th chapter and the fifth verse, you know. Yeah, I know what I was saying. Those impurities, they all have to be purged out. And the experiences we are all going through, 
best believe that there are, uh, you know, tests to that. You're looking for the answers of what the Lord, you know, what could I do better? Hey, the Lord will put you in a position to where he's trying to purge something out of you. you. You may get rebuked. It may be a life situation that's very challenging. You know, it may be, you know, having to start over and get out of comfort zones. All of these things are purging us, you know, because we can get simple, man. Sometimes we can operate in the fence and think that we're doing the will of the Lord. Sometimes we can, you know, we, we can get real simple. We can get proud. We can start feeling ourselves because people are listening to us. The mere fact that you'll have a like, you know, some brothers, <laughs> a few likes, comments. Some brothers can start to get proud, man. So the Lord always has his way of bringing us back to reality, all right? And when, when, when those things happen, all right, you have to examine because we're here to grow. We're not here to be the same OG. And there's particulars about our personalities that um, sometimes we can get too comfortable with as this is just me. Now, granted, you know, every brother has their set way you know and, and and some things you just got to deal with with brothers but the last thing you want to do is be an offender you just get comfortable with offending brothers and we've seen many men over the years come into this truth and uh you know offend offend you know and, and continuously offend to where now they're no longer around you know there's one thing to have your way all right but you still have to be in the spirit all right and a, a part of that is checking yourself all right there's many things we get caught up into and again we we, we all too all right often get caught up in a plain way and the plain way feels good to the flesh it makes it you know it gives us a sense of you know importance a sense of you know it, it plays on the flesh you know because everybody wants their way everybody you know the, you know at the end of the day we're judges it's in our spirit to be a certain way but this is delicate. We're not there yet. We're not, you know, back at the uh, perfection yet. We're not in that uh, new, fully in that new covenant to where, you know, we don't have any fault. This grace period was given unto us through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua to get ourselves together, man. And you have a lot of niggas that are watching, you know, like Anton Daniels, this guy. He's looking at the Israelites. Granted, you do got some crazy ass Israelites out there, but you got even crazier Christians. There's something about you Christians, you so-called black Bible believers that come up against the Israelites. Okay, <laughs> the bottom line is this, you know, the worldly bragging on what you have in this world, you know, hey, we're, hey, the things are moving through the words that we're speaking, man. So yeah, you can have your money, you can have your millions of dollars, whatever you have, all right um but the bottom line is we we're, we're doing something here man through the spirit and power of yahweh shai this is important what we're doing is important to prophecy man you see so people look at this and you know to them it's worthless it's, it's, it's a waste of time but brothers and sisters are literally all right uh ridding themselves of demons man changing their minds changing their behavior that's big everything that these niggas on these podcasts complain about the law statutes the commandments the righteous way fear of how about shimei shai it'll cure all of that see what what you what, what people really have a problem with is the fact that this is an ancient lot what we're doing is an ancient thing going out on the streets and proclaiming you know the and prophesying that goes all the way back then begin men to call on the name of yahweh back in the genesis you know seth's son enos a way has been established a way, and, and, and we're bringing about that ancient way you see the brothers with fringes he's mocking the fringes you know you got those fringes from a white man you got you know, but you hate the white man it's just stupid petty arguments you know but the Lord has given unto us, not as the world gives. So we're, we've been blessed, all right, in the unseen. But it is seen in the behavior of the elect, all right, who are going to be on the earth offering up their bodies as a living sacrifice for the kingdom of heaven to be established, man. But overall, with all that we say, with all that we, we do, we come up against these people, you know, we have to encounter them. The bottom line is... You got to still examine yourself, man. Second Corinthians 
13 and 5, examine yourself. It's lucky I'm driving, that's why I'm not bringing out too many scriptures. Whether ye be in the faith, prove your own selves, all right? Know ye, uh, know ye not your own selves, how Yahweh Shai is in you, except ye be reprobates, all right? Ultimately, NLT, examine yourselves to see if your faith is genuine. Yeah, like I, I say, sometimes ask yourself, do you really believe in the resurrection? Because there's a lot of people who, you know, there's certain aspects of the scriptures then, you know, they, they don't really believe. They doubt. So you have to examine yourself. Do I really believe this thing? Am I, am I really in the truth? And you, you're having certain brothers tap out at the very end. You know, all right. There's ultimately they figured out that this was, uh, you know, the, the, this was too much for them. All right. But overall, even those of us who are still continuing in the faith, we have to examine ourselves. There's a scripture. It says. Uh, it says, examine yourselves and see if your faith is genuinely genuine. Test yourself. Surely, you know that Yahweh Shai HaMashiach is among you. You, your, your behavior should be as though Yahweh Shah is amongst you when you are around the brothers, man. Would I say this to Yahweh Shai? Would I do this to Yahweh Shai? These are things you have to consider and examine yourself, right? Because brothers can get too familiar, all of that. All of these things happen, all right? And, you know, the, the, you know to prevent these things from happening, each individual should be examining themselves, man, and fine-tuning and working, all right, and getting better than you were last year, yesterday. You should always be seeking to grow, man. So, Lockie, I'm going through some crazy traffic. But it says, if not, you have failed the genuine test of faith. So through this grace period, we're supposed to offer up the works of faith. We're justified by faith, man. There's a precept here in uh, Sirach, 37 and 19 it says there is one that is wise and yet teach it many and yet is unprofitable to himself and we've seen these types of individuals over the years who though they're amongst us all right they're playing the role of brute beast all right they're, they're like brute beast they're like you know a horse which you can't go to a horse and counsel with it about you know uh, uh you know before the horse does something all right. The, uh, the, the council is only on earth. Council was done by men. That's not the lot of a horse. But you have particular men in the spirit of a wild animal that needs a bridle. That needs, you know, a, a, a control. The scriptures talks about the tongue. All right. Being a, va a great and marvelous offender, man. And you have to put a bridle on your tongue. Sometimes every thought doesn't need to come you know uh out in the open man everything you're thinking doesn't need to be typed onto a comment board you got a lot of israelites that'll type you know the the, the their disagreement you know they're like shut up now you didn't put that energy out there and what if that returns to you twofold in, in, a, in a negative sense man but that's one thing that our people have forgot all right they forgot about you how about shimao shy See, coming into this truth, we understand that we can be held accountable for what we do, for what we say. So with that, you have to be very, very careful, man, especially with how you deal with brothers, man, but how you deal in your everyday life. Okay, you know yourself, you know the BS you be doing. So to, to make it easier on yourself, all you have to do and on other brothers, this makes it easier on everybody in the body in the fold where each individual is on point all right because they actually believe and fear the lord a part of faith is checking yourself now does that mean things ain't gonna happen does that mean brothers ain't gonna bump heads sometimes does that mean everything's gonna be hunky-dory all right absolutely not this is a you know when you read the letters of paul there was always something going on all right but we we we're supposed to use those those uh stories all right and the things that are written aforetime time were written for our learning man okay and not make these same mistakes 
You see? But overall, you don't want to be this guy that's able to teach many and do all of these, these, these glorious lessons, right? Tell Esau his fate, everybody gonna die, right? All you, you know, everybody. But then when it comes to yourself, you live life as a reprobate, okay? You, you living with brothers, you, you're not washing uh, dishes, you're just leaving uh, uh, shit in the toilet, pissing all over the toilet, not wiping it up. All of these things, okay? Being, being reprobate, being just, just a worldly guy who knows he's an Israelite. Hey, you have to understand, man, this is the Lord's building, man. And the scriptures tell you to take heed there on how you build. You didn't come into this truth to just, just be an everyday guy. No, man, we're supposed to stick out, man. Okay? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, we're supposed to be shining, all right, as lights, right, amongst this wicked and perverse generation, man. But that also goes into you and how you are in your life, your daily life, who you are. You should be, you know, we all have our folly. We all have, you know, things we into. We all, you know, but but we're 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 at the end of the road, man. Right? Judgment is around the corner. Judgment, we see these people getting judged every day. How do you know you you ain't getting ready to be judged? Because if when you confident in a plain way, you don't consider these things because you you you're basically just walking in the flesh. You don't want to be that guy, man. And this ain't speaking to no one particular situation, but when, you got to understand when the wilderness was, when, the, when Moses was in the wilderness, man, there were extreme judgments, man. Things were intense. We're in those times. We're walking in those times to where certain mistakes could get you put to death, man. Right? Certain mistakes, certain things you said, the Lord can just judge you on the spot. These are the times we live in it. So you don't want to be as a wild animal that brothers got to uh, uh, put a bridle on. No, man, you're supposed to operate as a man of Yahweh Bashim Shai, as a judge. Stop, uh, uh, be not confident in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a bold, brute way, man. But again, we understand that there are particular brothers that have particular spirits, man. That's the die. That's the beauty of this thing. You got brothers with, you know, more laid back spirits. You got brothers with more ambitious spirits. You got brothers that are very confident in themselves. They're not proud, all right, but they're very confident in themselves. But coming into a body of men, those those characteristics can then be looked at as pride. You see what I'm saying? And you could offend. So you have to start to learn how to, you know, uh. uh Walk in the spirit, discern. You got to learn how to read the room. Okay? Knowing when you're talking too goddamn much. Knowing when you, you know, when you when you out of place. Knowing who you saying something to. You don't tell every brother, a brother who just came in. All right? He he knows the your deepest, darkest secrets. No, man. First of all, some things just keep between you and the Lord. But... All right, there is a uh, vulnerability, all right, that you have to have, you know, with certain brothers to where you entrust them with certain understanding. How wish I was like that, even amongst the disciples, it was only uh, uh, James, John, and Peter who he uh, brought to see particular miracles, all right, or, or to open up certain things to, or to, you know, it was those three. Okay, so be be mindful of who you tell and what, because you don't know who the hell is around. Uh, Jake, you, you telling brothers things and open up certain information. Shit, a year later he's on a video telling the whole damn story. These are the times we in, man. So brothers, be very very careful and uh, diligent in your your self conduct because. That makes it easier for everybody else, okay? When, when you go to brothers' houses, okay? Uh, clean up the brothers' house. I know we you get to a point where you done had your last drink and you done, but 
you see brothers cleaning up, you know, or, or you should lead it. You don't see brothers do it, you lead it. Clean up brothers' houses, man. Don't be leaving brothers' houses all messed up after you just sat over there, okay, and, and uh, listened to music and ate and drank, watched the fight, you know, to clean up. And if you see certain brothers doing it, it help a little bit. It ain't always got to be on the same, you know, if you know, brothers got to hey, uh, be mindful because that's a heavy lot for a brother to open up his house for the camp. I've been there before, you know, it's, it, it, it can sometimes be challenging. See, you, bro, you, 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 you got the camp house. Now brothers are getting in the spirit of getting, you know, uh, a camp house you know a few brothers live in it and that be the camp house but, but, but brothers who dedicate themselves to living there it, it could be a challenge so you 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 know uh or a brother opens up his house right but he didn't open his house up and then you come over there and y'all chilling and you just leave it in shambles how do you think that make that brother feel how would you feel would you want somebody to do that to you absolutely not See, but these are things that you have to if, if one if you if everybody has this mindset, only life can come from that. Only peace, you know, and prosperity, like they say, the world could come from that. That's how the brotherhood should flow and operate. We know things are going to get intense sometimes. All right. But when everybody's being considerate, man, brother, you have to be considerate in this truth. I know you have certain brothers with more, you know, forward, straightforward spirits, you know. But you have to be considered, you have to consider, you know, sometimes, and sometimes you got to fall back. Okay? There is one that showeth much wisdom in words, all right, and is hated. Okay? And we've seen those type of guys all through our years, man. The, 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 the greatest teachers, man, the most precepts, all right, and they are nowhere to be found right now. And in, 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 in the truth, in the brotherhood, they were so proud that they they were hated. Like you, when when they came around, you are. It's kind of like, oh boy. Everybody had that feeling in their spirit, like, oh boy. You know, you don't never want to be that guy. Okay, and we found out over the years some of these niggas were the heads of camps, complete maniacs, just getting on brothers for no reason, messing up the vibe. All right, slamming the dominoes, talking all kind of like like talking like Jake talk shit, right? We, we, we that's just a part of our culture. We 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 get on each other, we joke, you know, we're competitive, but being just flat out disrespectful to brothers, and to where a brother is looking like, nigga, what did I do? Like, do you like like me, nigga? You know, <laughs> sorry. We can't be in that. We 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 gotta we gotta check these things now, man, because. You don't want to get into a situation where the Lord, all right, just judges your ass on the spot, man. Because you wasn't being uh, 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 discerning. Hey, and the Lord just don't want everybody. So the Lord, eventually certain brothers just ain't going to be around no more. That's a part of it too. But it would be better for us right now to take advantage of grace in a, in a beneficial way that's beneficial to our salvation and for the, the sake of the brothers, man. So hopefully that was edifying, man. Shalom.